Hello friends, I'm Rahul Kumar and this is the video on ATB5. In this video, I will explain you how to design a arm. So in this in this PDF, you can see here, here this is an image of the arm here. And uh, in this video, I will explain you how to design it in ATB5 with the help of all these tools like uh, sketching, pad, elasticity lines, circle, middle, constant, and all this. I will take the help of all this command and with the help of and with the help of all this command, I will design this arm in KTIB5. So I start this. So friend, before I start to explain how to design it on KTIB5, I, I would like to explain in this sketch only. In this in this uh, in this video, I will uh, first design this this part, this this whole part, and later I will design uh, this upper part, and in the last I will design this cylindrical part. So start this. So print it open now. I will select the budget plane here. And friend, you can see in this image here, in this bottom part, first I have to design this part and then I can design this upper part. So first I will design this two part. So to design it, I have to uh, click here in this rectangle tool and under that uh, there is option called cylindrical elongated hole. I have to click on this and first I have to select the center. So as, as you can see in the figure, it's uh, a given here from this center, its radius is 45. So I will select uh, this center point is the center one and I will form this one and you can see it formed here and now I will uh, here you can see its radius uh, semicircle part have the radius of uh, not 20 here yeah it's here uh, this uh, semi this part have the radius of 10 so I will give its value as, as 10 here And you can see its radius from this uh, center point to uh, this uh, radius is 45. So I will give its value as 45. And uh, I will uh, do this point as allowed to this axis. I mean, I will do these two points to symmetry to this axis. So I will select these two points and uh, so, so friend it uh, happened here and now I have to design this other part this outer part I have to uh, design and you can see from this axis to this outer part have the radius of 20. It means from this uh, center point to this outer part have the radius of uh, total radius. If, if I take then it will have the 65. So I I will select this uh, center point as the, as the center of this outer uh, cylindrical part and I will uh, design it again here. So. Again, I will uh, select this uh, point as a center part and again I will So friend here you can see this outer part have the radius of 20 so I will 
I will do this value as 20 here, but it's not taking 8. So to do that, I have to remove something from here. Yeah, this one. I have to edit this one here. Yeah, it formed here. And now I have to design this upper circle here and this is small one also. So I will select this circle here. Again, I will select this one. And here you can see in this image, uh, this uh, inner circle has the radius uh, of 8. So, and it also has this outer uh, circle here, and it has the value of. Uh, radius 20 here radius 20 it means its value will be 40 and now friend I have to design this this outer part here as you can see this outer circle is here and it has the value of radius uh, 15 mm so to design it again I have to create a extra circle here and uh, yeah and now here you can see this this part is uh, connected to the upper circle also and this circle also so to do that again I have to select this this one and this one also and I have to do and the same way I will do here also in the same way I will create here also this uh, in the same way I will create this type of circuit here also And here you can see this other part is not there so in the same way here also this other part I have to remove here to remove uh, I will uh, select this uh, uh, cube trim and uh, and I will remove all these other parts So friend you can see here it uh, formed here this part and here uh, now I have to uh, design this rectangle part here so to design it I have to select uh, I have to uh, create one rectangle here and uh, I will again uh, select this rectangle here and I will do these two line as the elasticity to the axis and here you can see its uh, thickness it given here its uh, 15 mm you can see these two have edge have the distance of 15 mm And friend you can see here this outer part is not there so in the same way I have to remove this this other part here so friend here it's almost done here this half part is almost created here in this KTR V5 and now it's time to pad it I will exit the bench here 
and now I will pad it. As you can see here in this image, its total thickness is here it given as a 22 mm. So I will do in the same way. So friend, you can see here it's this half part. It's almost uh, done in the same way as it is here in this image. As you can see, and if you want to color it, you can color it. So friend, this is the first part of the video and in the second and in the second part, I will explain you how to design this upper part this cylindrical part i will design in the second part i hope you like this video thank you